<laughs> that is awesome. I think all creative people in all the arts, their life experiences make up the thing that they do and the way that they do it. Being a composer, you have to understand the emotion, you have to understand the characters, you have to empathize with them, and you go to your own experiences and the things that you've seen in life. This film is these two brothers in this uh, magical world, and you check the I sometimes wonder if Dan liked the idea that there was brothers across the table from him and said, I got these two brothers in my movie, and hey, here's these two brothers. I thought, I wonder if that's something he kind of liked, that he sort of saw some kind of parallel there. As soon as Dan started talking about it, we're, huh, that's familiar, older, younger brother. Father dies, in our case, 19 and 13. I was very um, kind of sh almost shaken by his pitch, frankly. <laughs> There's a sensibility and a kind of way of dealing with emotion and a way of dealing with tragedy and a way of bottling up emotions that is very familiar to us <laughs> and, and how they spill into your art. First, we meet with Dan, the creative team, and we watch the movie with them and we hear the big picture philosophical ideas. He's worried to take risks because he fears that the worst will happen. So I'm just imagining... It's our process to divide those things up. Well, you try Ian, I'll try Barley. When we saw Barley's van the first time, they said, well, you guys are going to write the music coming out of the van. <laughs> we're just like, oh, we're... Right, we know what that is. We know yeah. what that is. We're, we're, we're good for that. Just that idea of the guy with that van and the Viking horn helmet and blasting that music, and uh, it was a yeah, lot. Yeah, we knew people like that, and, <laughs> and frankly, <laughs> I might have kind of been that guy for a while. I mean, I, I understand that person, yeah. that person who hears that kind of aspirational, mystical wizard rock and somehow combines, you know, Tolkien and heavy metal, and somehow the two of them become like the, there is kind of a meeting place of those things. So, and it's somewhere that I've, you know, that we've been. Day three, orchestra, onward, big group out there, almost a hundred players. And uh, we're excited to uh, be here with uh, these amazing filmmakers and this great band, it's a great band. Ian needed a theme that somehow summed up his personality as someone who wants to be a normal kid and wants to succeed and be liked and all those things. Somebody that we can all relate to and, and have that kind of positive spirit, but also have a theme that can morph through the film and, and become something that is much more fully realized by the end of the film. The magic is big and kind of out of control. All those trumpets flailing around out of... It's not under anyone's control, and, and it, the first few times we have magic in the film, it ends in absolute orchestral chaos mm -hmm. and flying off in all directions. And they, they, we've done that cue, and it's, yeah, it's pretty... Uh, it's awesome. they, they really played it fantastically. Hang on! I can help! Harley, no! Musically, fantasy opens up a lot of colors. You can be small and interesting. You can be vast and epic. There's a lot of places you can play with music and sort of one of our favorite things to do because it's such a big canvas to work with and in some ways this film is sort of just right up our alley in all these ways. Yeah, that's the perfect approach. I'm not speaking for anybody except 
us, we think it is just yeah. a beautiful, fabulous film. Still a little bit in awe of yeah. being part of it. Mm -hmm. And I think it goes to a place that every family has had their mm -hmm. own tragedy of some mm -hmm. sort, their own pain, their own loss. And to put that up on a screen and treat it in such a unexpected way is really an accomplishment. And so that's something that we tried to do in the, in the music and help guide, emotionally guide you on this journey. Just kind of getting your emotion sensitized to receive the story. did our best to live up to what it is. So Yeah, we're two brothers writing for two brothers and I, yeah. I felt like we needed to, you know, get their hearts on the screen like our hearts. Ah, terrific take. Okay. Thank you.